Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm super excited to announce that building your reactionary golf swing is available now. That's what this video is all about, announcing this. I've been working on it for a long time. I really set the masters as the time that I wanted to have the video out by. And getting it done in time for the masters was a challenge for sure because uh, we just did the Be Better Golf School and after the Be Better Golf School we took two days filming, hired a professional crew and uh, spent two days filming this uh, thing and uh, months planning it. And it's all about the reactionary golf swing. And uh, in the one video that you guys saw about which swing method is the best and why I picked reactionary golf, it all comes down to getting the feeling of being at the top and just absolutely having no fear, no thoughts, nothing, just being totally free from the top down. And it's just an awesome feeling to be able to load it and just be able to unload on the ball completely. Uh, or as hard as you need to, you know, sometimes you don't have to totally unload on it. Uh, but a, a feeling of freedom and uh, with the, it's just a really an unbelievable. About the only time I think there is somewhat of a plane is, is what is called a, a functional swing plane here from Dr. Kwan yeah. developed that concept, which is right here. After all this, there, there is no swing plane. If I'm standing straight up and I just allow this to hinge, the toe of the club is straight up, but I'm standing straight up. Yeah. So now when I go and bend over, that's still the square club face. Mm -hmm. So if I go here and I go toe up and, and then I the, stand up, yeah. Where's the face? Yeah, you've effectively, if you were standing up, you've done this. Exactly. Hoping at some point to do to that. To get it back. Yeah. yeah. And that just can lead in inconsistency. So what ends up happening, the face is open as it's coming in. Now we can't get it squared out because we got to put all this energy this way. So it's just not a very efficient, effective golf swing. So I got Tony Lutzak, the inventor of this thing called the reactionary golf swing, uh, and Jeff Flagg, his star student, who uh, in just a... Uh, Jeff had not really been a golfer, and then in just 16 months after, after he was done with his minor league baseball career, he worked with Tony for uh, just a few months and made it like far into um, the World Long Drive Championship. And then uh, a total of 16 months working together, Jeff won the 2014 World Long Drive Championship, and now he's trying to do it again, win it again. Uh, so it really is a great blend of power and consistency. The thing that the reactionary golf swing uh, really the keyed into me, the reason that I liked it so much, was that it addresses in my, in doing this Be Better Golf, talking to all these different teachers and scientists and in all the interviews that I did, the, the thing that I started to realize was that the most crucial part about being better at golf is being able to have your swing in a proper sequence. Really, it all comes down to being more and more in sync. If your swing is out of sync and you're always trying to have degrees of saving it or flipping or all these compensations because your swing gets totally destroyed, the sync of your swing gets totally destroyed in transition, it's just you're never really going to be a very good ball striker. You're going to have days, some days your timing is going to be really good where, where this goes and then, the, then the, the flip is just perfect or you come over and you're dumping it out this way, you know, you just, just so. But those days when you, when you are fighting your own uh, sink, those days are just few and far between. And the reason I went with reactionary golf is because it addresses this issue of how to sink your swing again and again and again and again and do it consistently. Uh, it just in a more complete way. It, it is a really uh, complete system of how to sink your swing and really not have to rely so much on all these uh, strange timing things that you you may have manipulated into your swing. It's it's kind of counterintuitive because everyone wants to be consistent in golf. Yeah. But the best way to learn to be consistent is to practice variability. Yeah. We want to be able to create and do a lot of different things. So we build up those experiences so we know 
where we actually are. And that's where the problem that a lot of golfers have is they do things, they think they're doing one thing, but they're actually doing something completely different. Okay. So by creating shots, we use the nine ball flight windows, you know, right to left, left to right, lows, and then straights. Yeah. Middles, highs, right to left, straight, and that, so. Yeah, like three, three. Three and three, three. yep. It really is uh, something that gives you this feeling of, I'm in control, I'm the one deciding how well I'm gonna hit this golf ball. So, this thing, Building Your Reactionary Golf Swing, is an eight-part series all about how to do it. it uh, we have videos on, uh, videos on the grip, the takeaway, the top of your swing, the transition, impact and beyond. There's also, uh, because there's a whole nother level of, if you guys have seen some of Tony's videos and some of my videos that I did with Tony and others, uh, but mostly the Tony stuff about reactionary golf, if you've seen it, you've seen a lot of, okay, this is what the upper body is supposed to do, and the upper body is really uh, the engine uh, for all your, your best golf shots. But there is an entire part of reactionary golf that I hadn't seen before we did this video that is all about the lower body and what the, and what the role of the lower body is. So that's one of my favorite videos in this eight-part series is when you start to actually, because at some point when you've done the reactionary golf drills and the other things, and you've gotten this awesome transition, at some point you're gonna be kind of fr allowed and free to fully use your lower body properly. Right now, if, if you try to use your lower body hard, from here, it's all gone. And then, and then you try to have this fake finish or something like that. This talks about how to actually use your lower body so that the lower body stuff that you're doing is actually contributing to your swing and not just uh, wrecking your sink before uh, it can be usable, your, your lower body stuff. So, uh, so the link for it is in the description below. I'm super proud of it. I know Tony and Jeff are very excited to have it out as well. There's also an, a section where it's just Jeff and I and we're talking about power keys uh, reactionary golf power keys and the things he does to really build power, the things he does when he's in competition, either on the course or in competition on the grid, um, to really bust out um, a little bit extra. Yeah, that was good. That straight -ish. Was, yes, very straight. So, so, uh, so Jeff, um, tell me, what are some of the reactionary golf power keys? Um, I mean, the big, you know, I, again, I, I like to keep... And I'm going to kind of go through it as you're telling me. The, the, you know, I like to talk to you in feels, you know, yeah. so, so and I, I get it, everybody's feel is different, but the kind of the over, overarching thing that I kind of see everyone and talk to everyone about is you have to feel loaded to unload. It's funny because Tony Starr's student, he's working with a guy, a major championship winners and, and guys on the PGA Tour and Senior Tour before. But uh, his star student is a long drive champion. So you say, okay, well, I'm not looking to, you know, when, if you look at most long drive guys' swings, they're not really this enviable move that you would really want to be able to, you know, shoot a super low score on the golf course with. But uh, Jeff's swing is definitely different from those other guys because it's a swing that looks, uh, it's a swing that looks like you can actually shoot a golf score with that. And that's because the science and the research that Tony's done, he's seen that a lot of the extraneous motion that people are trying to do in their swing really isn't contributing much to the actual velocity of the swing. So when you're watching Jeff's swing and the uh, 140 or 145 miles an hour that Jeff puts into his club head speed, it's really, it's really conservation of motion. And uh, I will get that divot. There's a, there's a box here to replace those. People always ask me that. So it's really, uh, it's, it's about creating efficient power again and again and again and again. And uh, that's the thing that, that I really dig about it. So Jeff has a whole power keys with Jeff Flag thing in there. It's called Building Your Reactionary Golf Swing. There's a link for it, like I said, in the description below. If you have any questions about it, feel free to uh, put them in the comments below or email me. And uh, very excited for you guys to see it. And also, I didn't read really know this when I recorded this video, but also, if you get Building Your Reactionary Golf Swing, I talked to Tony Lutzak, and he is going to give everyone 
who gets the video series, he's going to give you a free three month subscription to his members only website inside the golf lab, which is on reactionarygolf.com. So once you get building your reactionary golf swing, you get a free three months to inside the golf lab, his uh, golf lab report. And also it gives you two online lessons with Tony a month. So it's really a, uh, an awesome deal. But also really, we just want you guys to uh, kind of be part of this uh, thing that we're starting. So we really believe in it as a way for people to actually be better at golf. Okay, really over this time. All right, thanks for watching, bye.